The Billabong brand was born in 1973 in Burley Heads in Australia, where it's still headquartered today. Uh, but now you can find Billabong in over 100 countries around the world. Our sales revenues are in the vicinity of around 1.7 billion US dollars. And we deal with around about 11,000 doors around the world. It's very important to sustain yourself in business with a, with a healthy level of profitability. It's not what completely drives our company, but ultimately it allows us to go out and invest in communities, invest in our products, invest in our people, and that's a key part of our strategy moving forward. Uh, when we look at our market, uh, our key target market is really 12 to 23 years of age. Uh, we understand that we can send them positive messages uh, within the community that we deal in. Um, you know, we feel like we have a responsibility. We can talk to them in ways that, frankly, governments would struggle to talk to them in. So we have a voice into those kids and with that we have the ability to influence. Now of course with the ability to influence we have to have responsibility and therefore we have to make sure we're doing the right thing. For us at Billabong um, you know, it's amazing that people are still talking about you know, climate change and whether there's a problem or not. Um, you know, everything we do revolves around natural elements and you know, the ocean's our playground and um, we need to make sure that you know, that in itself is, uh, is well kept and, um, you know, the air around it, uh, uh, everything evolving around that's uh, very important for us. Well, we started measuring our footprint because internally we wanted to see what it is we're actually doing. We want to see how we can improve it. Um, within our industry there was really no measuring going on and um, we wanted to see all the way through our chain um, how we could get better at, at everything that, that it is we do every day. Carbon footprinting also sends a uh, very strong message to our market. Um, we deal a lot with, with youth and we know that um, you know, young people around the world are very focused on uh, you know, outcomes from um, climate change and, and things like uh, carbon footprinting. It's important to uh, make sure that you know, us as a business can be, can be measured and can be seen to be doing the right thing where we can. The largest challenge with uh, carbon footprinting is just getting all the data. Uh, we operate right around the world. We sell in over 100 countries. We have 650 of our own retail doors around the world. We have about another 100 offices of some shape or form around the world. So just the collection of the data and making sure it's accurate and making sure that we're improving upon it uh, is, is a big task all in itself. There's no question that um, you know, we can learn things from some of the better practices we have inside of our companies. Um, the fact is, is that if we have a benchmarking exercise in one store and it's running at a lower energy cost in another store, you know, why can't we do that in other parts of the world? It enables us to take the data and improve upon it and hopefully lower our energy costs, lower our energy consumption and lower our carbon emissions all at the same time. Yeah, carbon offsetting for us is uh, an area that um, we've been looking into quite a lot. We're touching on uh, a lot of offsetting around our events, but um, you know, we're still researching into it and um, seeing what the best outcome for the company is moving forward. Uh, we have a, a target market um, you know, primarily between the ages of 10 to 23, and the reality is, is that um, you know, this is not something that they want us to do, they expect us to be doing it. Um, we want to take a lead role in this area and, um, and we're proud of the work that we do. Uh, the great thing when you get data together is you realise frankly that you can do a lot more. Our customer expects it and you know, moving forward as a company um, we're going to expect it right across our whole organisation at the same time. So it's really nice to be noticed. We know we're not perfect and we know we've still got a long way to go but I feel that definitely as a company we can continue to drive forward from here and uh, I'm really looking forward to the challenge.